I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Cougars. Today is Friday, March 2nd. Welcome to SCTV News. I'm Michael Anderson. And I'm Asaya Johnson. Tonight is a big night for our girls' soccer team. Our Cougars will travel to Mission Bay High School to play Eastlake in the Open Division Championship. For many of the players, this will be their second chance at a CIF title, and they definitely want to lift that trophy. I'm so pumped. It's, uh, you know, one thing to win it for your teammates and for yourself, but it's a whole other thing to win it for your school and to finally hold up that or put up that banner in the gym with Steel K and Varsity Soccer with the CIF title. It's something we've always dreamed of, especially for this program. So we're excited and pumped and ready to win. I'm like extremely excited because um, it's like a really tough division that we're in, open division. And I think that um, getting this win after like a really tough season during league, it'd just be like the icing on the cake. Knowing that football won the CIF championship, we really want to win it too. Um, I feel like there's no other feeling than like holding up that trophy. So. I'm so excited. Like we came so close last year and like to have it kind of taken away by just one goal and they only had one shot on goal and it just happened to go in. Like we kind of want redemption this year. So I think to get that trophy and then the CIF banner, like it'll really mean a lot for our school and our program in general. And you know, ring season. If you'd like to see the game in person, kickoff is at 5 p.m. at Mission Bay High School. Tickets are $10 for adults and $6 for students. Our school got to celebrate a different sport yesterday. Players from the football team received their championship ring at lunch. The design honors both state and the CIF titles that the Cougars won last December. This is a pride that we banded together as brothers, came through, you know, we had a bad season last season, but this season we came through and went to state. First to do it at Still Canyon, only ones to do it. We feel good about ourselves. Thank y'all for coming out, it was really Just good. Just look at it. Right. Uh, read about it. Read about, read about it. it. Read about it. You see it on my neck and on my finger. You see it. <laughs> I've got a coaching staff that really has been together for 10, 15 years. You know, a lot of them were with Ron, when Ron was the head football coach. And then when I took over, they just, they rolled over and stuck with me. So, you got some coaches that are really invested in Steel Canyon. You know, not just this group of kids, but they're invested in Steel Canyon as a whole. And there's even more football news. Our Powder Puff team plays tonight at Granite Hills. The game starts at 7 and tickets are on sale at the student store. The cost is $5 and all money collected will help the Powder Puff program. So go support our school. Next week is a huge week on campus. Evaluators from WASC will be on campus. The Western Association of Schools and Colleges will be here to make sure Steel Cane is committed to educating the students here. Principal Hoheimer has more details. The WASC visitors will arrive on campus on Sunday and then they'll be here on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. We have written a 300 some odd page report. It's called the WASC document. And the report looks like this. It's a very expansive viewpoint of who we are as a school and where we're going as a school. So all this committee does is come verify that what we wrote in that document is actually the truth. So what they will do is they'll walk around, they'll talk to students, they'll talk to staff, they'll talk to administrators, they'll even talk to groups of parents just to get a feel for uh, if our report is accurate and portraying exactly who we are. To help prepare students for the visit, we have been reviewing the five learning expectations for our school. Today we finish with day five. In order to fulfill the school-wide learner outcomes, each day we will be teaching you about one of these skills called ACTS. Today's skill is E. A Steel Canyon student will be an effective communicator. To be an effective communicator here at Steel Canyon, students must be able to receive and understand information through reading, listening, writing, and watching. They must be able to use verbal and nonverbal skills to communicate. They must be able to collaborate by exchanging and processing information. They must also be able to express ideas visually and physically. Thank you for watching my presentation. That was the most 
eloquent speech I have ever heard. Now, class, what did you learn from this presentation? She, yeah, I uh, don't get it. So, uh, yeah, that's my uh, presentation on the Great Gatsby. Two things. Step one, that was only a minute long. And step two, your presentation was supposed to be on Unbroken. See me after class. Chad, you too. So, Larry, I'm giving you an opportunity to fix your grade on this presentation because I decided to be generous today. You have one week to come back in with a redone presentation, and I will average the two presentation grades together. You will have Chad teach you how to do a proper presentation, but not let him do it for you. Chad, I will give you extra credit for your efforts. Everything clear? Yeah, sure. Yep. I don't even know how to fix this presentation. Well, you have to be able to learn from what you read about Unbroken and present the topic using nonverbal visual aids to help communicate your point. Well, you did get 100% on the project, as usual, so I guess you must be right. Thank you for watching. Wow, I have never seen such a turnaround in such a little time. I am thoroughly impressed. This week we have taught you about the school-wide learner outcomes, or ACTS, which to recap are Students will A. Be an adept learner C. Be a complex thinker and problem solver T. Be technologically proficient for the 21st century C. Be a contributing member to their community and E. Be an effective communicator We hope that you have learned more about the goals our school has set for us with their mission and vision statement. The swim and dive team competes at West Hills at 4 o'clock. Boys volleyball has a tournament at Sweetwater at 3. That's all the news we have for you today. Have a great weekend. Rawr Cougars. Cougar Pride, get, get some. some.